Senbet Salam, Shabbat Shalom. Greetings, brothers and sisters. Salam tonight. This is our second Sabbath of our year. When the second Sabbath time um, of the year, the beginning of, you know, the, we could say the evening part of it. And according to our weekly sabbatical readings on page four, if you are desirous to, to follow along and to be in, in tune, we touched on uh, Berasit or Bereshit, which is in Amharic, Nagus Neges Amharic Bible is Bemejemeria. We touched on the beginning, um, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 to Genesis chapter 6, verse 8. In spirit and in truth, we we touched on that based on a comparison with uh, ancient Kamite or Kamology, ancient Kamite mythos or ancient Egypt, because we began with the premise of what did Moses know? Where was Moses educated? What did he learn? Who taught him? When it says in Acts of the Apostles, I think it's chapter 7, verse 22 or thereabouts, it says that that Moses was learned in all the wisdom of the Egypts, and he was mighty in word and deed. Or your translate, or King James might say, learned in all the wisdom of the Egyptians. We clarify that that is really the wisdom of the Egypts, based on Hala Selassie the First's Metaf Kedus, based on the King of Kings, the Book of the Seven Seals. And that prophetic scripture so it clarifies for us that it wasn't just the wisdom of the of the Egyptians of the people but of the Egypts so in spirit and in truth we touched on the overview of the first sabbatical reading in the six parts that are up there so far and at this present recording there's part seven from the Ethiopic Genesis which began to touch on what does the in the beginning mean and what were those those six creative ages or stages the overstand of humanity and to decode the wisdom or the mystery school of ancient Kemet or ancient Egypt that Moses according to the scripture was obviously learned in in order to get a true context to the first book of the Bible, Genesis, because as it said, as it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end. And even in the prophecies concerning Jesus Christ or Jesus Christ concerning the end times, often it is said, well, as it was in the days of Noah, as it was in the days of Noah, in other words, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the time of the son of man and in the end of the world and the end of this particular age that's what's connected with that sort of idea so in order to overstand and to be rightly guided and rightly aligned in these last days we need to return to the ancient times and to look at the wisdom of the ancient ones but of course this is going to clash you know it's already clashed against you know popular notions of what what happened you know what i mean the beginning and these popular notions and misconceptions concerning ancient egypt and many of these are held by the people who should who really need to have the right view of the truth and that's us as the lost sheep of the beta israel as so-called black folks you know because part of this hate this self-hate that we have part of it's because of the curse Deuteronomy chapter 28 verses 15 to verse 68 and then part of it's because of the ignorance you understand the ignorance which brought on the curse and, and, and the and the error you understand and then we have a, a fear amount when I said fear amount not as good but we have a a sizable amount too much envy for the so-called Jews who call themselves Jews, but are not, according to the word, it says they're the synagogue of Satan. But we need to understand these in the proper context of the writers of the Bible, of the prophets, and of the seers. And this is a, a reason why after the reading of the word, which the Senbet time and the sabbatical time, if we were to practice this in spirit and in truth and, and 
and were to be able to come together, you know, like if it was in a community, the Sabbath time, we will come into the shul or the mikurab, you understand, or the one would say the church or the temple or wherever we gather or into one's homes where we would gather. And what, there'll be three readers. Each, th each of the three readers would read one portion, you understand, of the sabbatical readings. Whether it will be the Torah, the Orit Zemuse, or the Nabiyah, the Haftarah, or the Hadith Kidan, the Burt Hadasha, these readings will go on. Now, after that basic reading, as time and opportunity allows, whether during that sabbatical time, or ones may disperse and go to their homes and spend and meditate on what they have heard. But we have to recognize that the hearing of the word and the reading of the word, there's a blessing in the hearing of the word and there's a blessing in the reading of the word. Because some who are ignorant of the truth would make you believe or make you think that, oh, this is just talk, just talking about, but, but no, talk is talk and reading is reading. In the sense of the reading of the word must become a personal responsibility on each of us individually as well as all of us collectively, because even Revelation, Yohannes Araio, Araio le Yohannes, chapter 1, verse 3, it says, Zemenu karbualna, yihina metzhaf, yemiyanabo, yetin bituna kala yemiya samutina, be wistu, yetezafoin, yemiya tabukut, betuan nacho. Zemanu Karbualana, the age or the time, the time is near. For the time is near. Yihina Metaf Yamiyanabo, one who reads this book, Yetin Bituna Kala Yamiya Semutina, and one who hears the word of the prophecy, Bewistu, and in it or in him, Yetezafa win. That which is written, Yemiyat Abukut, those who protect it, those who keep it, those who preserve it, Bitu'an Nacho, they are the blessed ones. And this word, Bitu'it, and Bitu'an is a very special word and deserves a teaching on it. But the usual translation is. It's distinguished from from those who are, you know, the the the, the the um, yetabareku, um, you know, it's different than blessed in that sense, and that's what we mean by the distinction that needs to be um, understood. But there is a blessing in the reading of the word, there is a blessing in the hearing of the word, and there is a blessing in the perseverance or the, or the preserving, the preserving of the word. So, don't let anyone deceive you that there is no blessing or it's just reading the word or what, like there's no blessing. These are those who are deluded or deceived who would like to, you know, misery loves company to keep you away from, you understand, the blessing. We know it for ourselves, so we're not trying to force nobody to read it. We're just doing our job, doing our duty, you understand, as a minister of the King of Kings and his Christ to inform his people and those who claim to be his people of his teaching and of the truth. So the next duty on those who have the responsibility and have the the epigenosis and, and the and the knowledge is to teach, is the teaching of the reading, is to teach well what does the reading say and how does it apply or those aspects that one who is uninitiated or uninformed or or who is not acquainted with the mysteries as Christ speaks of them would be able to have a firm anchor a f and build on a firmer foundation you understand and thereby errors that have crept in ignorantly or willingly can be uh, exercised from there so the next part is the Tim Herod. So what we like to focus on more on is the Tim Herod portion to remind each Sabbath, well, this is the particular Sabbath reading and this is what is contained or these are the subject matters or, you know, certain words to the wise. But the main part that we would like to focus on as best as possible as we have begun 
with the Bereshit or the Bereshit, the Bemejimeri or in the beginning portion, is to do a more expanded teaching. You understand on certain elements or interesting points on certain elements concerning the weekly Sabbath or the weekly sabbatical readings so that we would have we can build up we can have more of a groundation we can have more of a foundation in the spirit and the truth of the word so this is to once again just go over the fact that this is the second Sabbath of the year and it's called Yenoch or of Noah Noah and it concerns Orit Zemuse, the Torah, Genesis chapter 6, verse 9, to Genesis chapter 11, verse 32, Isaiah 54 and 1 to 55 and 5, and Matthew 24.